Okay, so let's talk about these fenders. So this is the final one of this series from Fender, the American Vintage 2 line, which again, I've praised from the beginning saying that I think this is the best thing that Fender has done in many, many years. Yes, it's a Strat. Yes, it's a Tele. Fender's probably pretty good at making those by now. But um, the one that I originally got when they first came out to check out was this uh, 63 Telecaster from the American Vintage 2 line. Since then, this, I mean, it's it made me sell a vintage Esquire that I had because I'm like I'm just playing this one more. I've had a bender put in it We've had the triple tree put in it, all kinds of stuff, and I absolutely love this guitar. I spilled super glue on it <laughs> um, You know kind of I put it through its paces So this is the 54 strat one of the main ones I was wanting to check out So Sweetwater reached out to me asked if I was interested in checking out any more of the American Vintage 2 line And I said do you guys have any of the 54s because they didn't the first time I asked them and they're like, Yeah, we have them and I'm like I would love to check out one of these. So this video is going to be sponsored by Sweetwater. So if you want to check out any more of the specs or anything about these guitars, check those out down below because I just love this American Vintage 2 line. Fender, big ol' thumbs up. <laughs> Dr. Z amp back there into the aux box and uh, just gonna have the reverb from the aux going the whole dang time. So let's get stratty. Okay, so let's talk about the specs because that's probably one of the main selling points for anybody who's interested in one of these because they got all of them correct. Uh, ash body, nitro finish, so the guitar will age. As far as I know, it's nitro. Um, some people will talk about poly undercoats. That I don't know. I didn't see that anywhere. So as far as I know, Nitro finish, uh, eight hole pick guard, cold rolled steel saddles. <laughs> I had to say it that way because otherwise I'm like, cold rolled Russia, cold rolled, I can't, I can't spit it out. Uh, pickups that are supposed to be voiced after a 54 strat. So very cool. If you look at them, they're different than like modern day strat pickups that have kind of like a hard edge on them. These are very round. Look at early 54s. You know, the strat did change a little bit uh, as it progressed. Old school style tremolo system. I have not used the whammy bar yet, so I'm gonna do that in the demo. Here you got a big old metal block back here instead of those little tiny zinc or whatever, whatever they use on them. Vintage style tuners. And just, it's like I said, it's for me, everything I want a Strat to be. So let's get to the tone section. And then uh, I'll talk a little bit more about the guitar here at the end. Sorry to hop in here real quick. Two things I forgot to mention about the guitar. Both possible pros, both possible cons. It depends on the person. One I like, one I don't like. So this does have a three-way selector switch, just like a Row 54 would have. You can still get that position for those in-between positions, uh, you know, by just wedging it in there. I'm actually gonna start the tone section in what would essentially be position four of a five-way selector switch. The other thing here, though, is that this tone knob is wired to your middle pickup. There is no tone knob to the bridge. That is, to me, a huge, huge must have. So that is something I, you know, will end up modding myself on these. But kudos to Fender for sticking with it and being like, yo, you want 54 specs? You're getting 54 specs. So anyways, here's the tones. Sorry for all the, all the yakking.
All right, so let's wrap things up here. The truth about these fenders. And the truth is, I think that if you are a person who wants to experience what it would be like to get a vintage guitar or something like that, that's not all broken in, it's still new, and you want to do all the breaking in yourself, these are great. I still think that this is the best line of guitars that Fender has done in a long time. It's my favorite, anyways, of them all. And I just think they're, these are great. These are very, very good guitars that I have enjoyed playing immensely. So kudos to Fender for that stuff. They are expensive. You know, I'm not, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. These things do cost a lot. Anytime you start getting into nitro and you know, of course the lineage of 54 and all that kind of stuff, it's gonna tack on a price. But if you're wanting these vintage specs, nitro finish, all that kind of stuff on a guitar and you don't wanna go custom shop, because custom shop is a whole nother league above these as far as price goes, look into these because like I said, I could not be more happy, could not be happier, more happy <laughs> uh, with my Tele back here. The 63 Tele, amazing. I absolutely love it. Um, I've played all kinds of other Tele's, vintage ones, all that stuff here recently. And I'm like, I just like my 63 American Vintage too. <laughs> so there you guys have it. Thank you to Sweetwater for sponsoring the video. Um, if, like I said, if you want to check these out, check them out, the link down below for you. And um, I just appreciate all you guys and I hope you have a wonderful day. All right, bye homies. See you in the next video. Woo!